All right, it's time to film another DIY video. What we're gonna be doing today is building a sub box slash grind box that we're gonna be bringing over to the DIY spot. Maddie actually went to Home Depot, got all this wood ready to go, and we're gonna quickly explain what we're doing, and then we're just gonna get straight into building it and telling you exactly what's going down. So I went to Home Depot and I got six two by fours, one four by four, and two pieces of fake plywood that are cut to two foot by four foot. Basically just pressed wood, so it's a little cheaper. And then I got one uh, metal angle iron that's already cut to six foot. And then I got some special decking screws. All the wood's already pre-measured out, so we're aiming for a six foot long grind box. It's gonna be two foot wide. And then we're just gonna have a couple ribs in between at about two feet each. And What's the height gonna be? be? Supportive. The height will be two feet high. So two foot everywhere. Pretty much two <laughs> foot everything, six foot long. Okay. Keeping it pretty simple. Let's do this. It's this. gonna be easy. <laughs> So Matty's going over his uh, outback here, and he's bragging about how awesome this thing is. Seven feet clearance. Yeah, seven foot clearance to the back the of that seat that's right there. And then that's about two feet, so the and ledge will... The height in here is insane. Look at this. this is like the most convenient car, like when I say car-wise. So about oh, 29, tw hair yeah, underneath. 28 inches clear is no problem. Yeah, 28 would be A-OK -okay, all the way across. It's a great view, man. Really <laughs> proud of this thing. She's doing great. I actually knocked this light out the other day. All right. Put the trike in. I went to go pull the trike out, and oh. the whole light popped out. Don't tell anybody. Don't yeah. tell the next buyer. So how was Home Depot today, Matt? Uh, it was a rough one, Scott. I'm not going to lie to you. I went nice and early. It wasn't even that busy. And I finally got the cart that, you know, you could lay the wood on all nicely and get through the aisles. And uh, Did you go outside to get it? Yeah, I went all the way in the back of the parking lot to go get it. Wow. Because, you know, they're kind of hard to come by. So I brought it inside. I'm in the lumber yard, obviously getting my lumber. And then uh, I wanted to go get this big piece of Trex board to grind on. But I need to get it cut in half to fit into my awesome vehicle. And I waited there for, you know, probably seven minutes, I would say, waiting for somebody to come by and cut it. And then they then told me they're not cutting things today. So I go to walk back to my cart where I left it. And I see somebody walking away with a cart. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I look down the aisle and there's no cart there. And I'm like, where's my cart? And I see, look, and I see all my stuff has been taken off and just pushed into the side in the lumber yard. So just pretty all much my just... stuff was just punched into other wood stuff. They just threw uh -huh. it all on top. So it like blended in. And I just see these two dudes walking away with my cart. And I was just like, how do you even confront somebody about that? Like, <laughs> hey, you just took my cart and you put all my stuff over there. And they're like, you know, what, 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 do you, how do you respond to that? You're like, no, I didn't. And I'm yeah. like, okay, <laughs> you're right. No, you didn't. So basically I just went through this trauma of somebody stole my cart in Home Depot. So you so had to go find a new cart. I had to go all the way back out into the parking lot. <laughs> it was a little bit traumatized. I'm a little upset about it. So I'm just going to cut away all my. Yeah, go ahead. Cut, cut it all away. So he's got it all measured out. What's your actual length right here? You're cutting these. So these are eight foot pieces. We're cutting them down to six feet. And then we're actually going to use these extra pieces as yeah, supports, we're using right? these as pretty much the ends. So once we cut all our bases, which is four pieces, then we'll have all these extra ends that'll build our two frames. And then we're going to cut our four by four up to two feet. And that's going to be like our structure. Awesome. For it. That's what's going to bring it up to two feet. All right, we'll go on ahead. So now we're putting the marks on the 4x4. This is getting cut into four separate pieces. Um, so it's actually going to be a total of three cuts, I believe, right? One, yes. two, three. Yeah, piece of cake. So now we are starting to put together the frame. Uh, you can see that we have these long pieces right here. These are actually cut three inches shy of six foot because we're going to be putting the 2x4s that are on the end and we want it to be exactly six foot. So we're putting two screws on each end to keep the boards from twisting. That's the game plan. Moving on to the next step, we are adding the uprights. So we're using these 4x4s to sit in the corner. We're going to be able to put a couple screws in it. This should make it really sturdy. Um, it's a little bit taller than I expected. Uh, even though it looks so short, maybe that's why it looks taller, but I think it'll be a good height for what we're trying to do there. So the well, next thing we're going to do is make the frame that is going to be up on the top. It's going to be the same exact thing as the bottom, but now he's got to get the rest of these screws in. Look at that. We got clamps and everything this thing is going to be perfect dude i think it's going to be really solid it's really like it feels awesome right now it looks good we just had to move that one beam over a little bit but we're chilling so now we're adding some supports so when we sheet it we won't fall through it when we jump on it when i say we i mean maddie and potentially any other riders besides me <laughs> we're gonna put two here though so now we got the supports on and it's time Dial. to sheet the top nailed it yeah it looks good right thinks it looks like a casket you tell me that's not weird <laughs> it is weird that's full stretch yeah that's perfect perfect fit isn't it i don't like it 
Wow. I'm that's, not riding it. That's crazy. <laughs> So we screwed this big sheet on, but now it's time to put the rest of it on. But you can see it's overhanging, so we got to make a cut. Uh, Maddie's going to... Are you going to freehand this thing all the way across? Is that your goal? Yeah. <laughs> now I could I could drill it in and then just go for the That's the what cut. I thought you were going to yeah. do. That's a I mean, I think that makes the most sense, I honestly. I am just going to mark it underneath, I guess too, that makes the most sense. Matt, I have to say, I think this is the best thing I've ever seen you build. <laughs> It's simplistic. It works. Look at that cut. It matches up pretty good. That's great. <laughs> You're right. I think, <laughs> I think this one takes I feel cake. really safe about this. Wow. There's really nothing I'm questioning right now. Even the logo matches up. Look yeah. at the number. <laughs> that does look Look at the good. number matches up for some reason. That's pretty good. That's a good idea. Yeah, we're putting the angle iron now. Uh, we already got two of the three screws that he's going to do. Right? Two, or two out of three? I have one in, but Never I mind. don't like the way it sat. So now I'm trying to just figure, because I don't have a, uh, what's that, the cone bit? Yeah, we don't have the cone bit. bit. So, uh. He's doing the best he can. We're going to do a little, a little, let's see what we can do here. Honestly, I don't think it's going to matter anyway. But I don't think so either. It's nothing that I will complain about. Dude, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. That looks nice. That's not bad at all. That's I great. feel good about cool. that. Cool. So Maddie countersunk the screws pretty good. I don't think there's anything to worry about right now. But yeah, we got this piece on, but we decided since we have one more piece, we're going to use this one and we're actually going to put it about right here. So there's some support on the side of the tire when you ride it. So Maddie's going to make one final cut and we will screw it on. The final screw has just been put in and we are complete. So that's what that piece is going to look like. And not only will it support the edge of the tire, but it'll also help this thing from potentially swaying. It'll keep it way more sturdy. Is way more sturdy the right word? Sturdier. I think that was a better option. I like way but more sturdy. Way more sturdy sounds good, but we're going to load this thing up. Time to go to the spot. It looks good though. Today really is good. super hot. That's why I'm wearing this hat because I knew we were going to be outside in the sun. So we took a much needed break and now we're over here at the ditch. As we showed up, we saw that there was a problem already with Maddie and Will's build that they did. Let me show you. This was one of the boards that they used and uh, it's broken right there. And it looks like somebody smashed it on purpose with their foot, like they stomped it out, which is pretty annoying. But Maddie's going to fix it. We got some more wood coming on the way with Will. Yeah. That's how you make an entrance right there. That's how I make an entrance. That was pretty good, dude. Did you get the piece of wood? I didn't get the piece All right, cool. of wood. How much did it cost? 25. 25 bucks for the wood? I got five pieces. Why would you get five pieces? We're going to resheat the whole thing. Oh my goodness. All right, fine. I'm, we're making this thing worth it. Okay, fine. So Maddie's over here uh, just kind of assessing the damage. We're trying to figure out how we put this uh, other support in there to try to keep it together a little bit more because they didn't really put a lot of supports in. But if Will's going to resheat this thing, it's definitely going to make a big difference. You really brought out chocolate milk. Yeah, and I bought the biggest one possible. Yeah, who drinks chocolate milk, man? It's uh, nearly 100 degrees out. If chocolate milk is cold, then it you know, cools your body down. I love Ugh. chocolate milk, but not. That's, I don't know, man. Any time of the week. Like Any time of the week. <laughs> so Matt's starting to put the pieces of plywood back on, and we are going to offset them compared to where they used to be. Like, if you see where Maddie's knee is, there's like a gray, light blue color. That's actually plywood that Will painted. So we're going to put him over him, and uh, it's going to come a little bit higher up this hill too, which should be a little bit smoother. Thank goodness Will's here though, because I had to help Maddie get this thing in here and I wasn't much help. Can I hold the camera actually? No, you cannot hold the camera. You got this. It just blows my mind that this thing actually fit inside this car. Crazy. Yep, and we'll just let it fall and hope that it... Oh man, that's a little scary. I, I am really nervous to walk down this hill right here. I think I'm gonna fall, but whatever. Hopefully we'll film it. Make some good content. So now we got some added weight. How's it feel? Does it feel sturdier? It feels great. Works as a bridge at least. We finally made it. Awesome. Time to ride. Okay, If I fall, it is what it is, you know. You don't fall, Scott. Just let me fall in dignity. This isn't slippery. It is a little slippery. I also just kicked a bunch of sand on your foot. There's coming down there. Yeah, it's fine. This is easy now. Awesome. Handicap approved. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. It's, gonna this go one's going to be pretty steep, though. So I always go fakey when I go back up stuff because I can't bend my ankles good uh, the other way. Once I start slipping, I'm just going to let it happen. Just go right to my butt. 
slide into the Well, if you fall to your butt now, you're you're up, so. Yeah, I'll just. It's not the end of the world. Lay there and just. <laughs> Sweet. Good. Yeah. yeah That's first try. <laughs> the bridge is ready. The ledge is ready. We are going to get this session started right now. Okay, Maddie survived it. Now we're going to get Will up here. Oh! <gasps> What the heck was that? Matt, what just happened here? I think we blew out right here. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Maybe. it just happened. We didn't put enough beams in? I guess uh, not. It, no, it's because I'm 9,000 pounds. No, it's because that, that beam. We need more beams. <laughs> we do need more beams. Or we need better plywood. We yeah, as long as you just ride to the outside, it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Um, Let's try not to hit dead center. All right. Look how smooth that was, man. Why has he got that touch, Will? Why is, why is he on that side, John? Yeah, man, that was nice. That was so clean. Heck yeah, man. That is not clean. All right, grind time. We're gonna see how this thing works. It did work. All right, we were mixing it up. We were turning this thing sideways, so it's almost like a gap over it. Uh, it's got put in the right spot, really. Yeah, looks good. I think it should work. Give it a go. See how it feels. Maddie is the test dummy on this one. Will's got a really good bunny hop, so I think he could do this one. He is stressing though. Yeah, Will, smooth. Oh, that was perfect. Nice. You gonna blind jump it? In? Yeah. Oh. The big blind hop. I, think I, I absolutely think you can clear this. He's a street rider. You're a street rider. Just think about that bunny hop. It's not that big. I'm kind of scared. Are you scared? I don't know if I could clear it. What, like actually clear it on yeah. hop? I think you could. If anything, you'd always just put the back wheel across it. You know what I mean? Like you could always just like tap it if you felt like you were going to case it. Okay. All right. This is going right. to be sick. Whoa. That was smooth. You're gonna really ride this like a sub box? <laughs> that's that's a risky move. Oh! <laughs> and he put his foot in. Oh, his oh bike's done. It's never oh, ending. Oh my god! <laughs> Your foot is soaked. Everything's soaked. Send him a new bike, Mongoose. Much better that time. That was smoother. Oh! oh God. That was great. Come on, Will. Come on, Will. Yeah. Yes, he did it. That was like his second time ever doing a subbox double peg. That was great. So Will really wants to do his signature move, which is the fast plan, but he's got to do it exactly where this beam is or he's going to be in trouble. Yeah, that should work, right? The people will understand. So right in front of that piece of trash, Will. That should work. Yo, that was nice, Will. Nice. Foot plant is Will's trick, but the hand plant is Maddie's trick, and Maddie thinks he's gonna try it over this, which would be pretty amazing. Uh, we're gonna see what happens, though. Here we go. So we're adjusting it. Maddie's gonna move it a little bit closer. He feels like it would be a big reach. Woo, what do you think? I can do it. I gotta get the front end. All right, cool. Yes, Matt, that was awesome. Yeah, that felt pretty good. That was perfect. Probably, one of your first. Probably the first straight hand plants I've done yeah. since that video that we like learned it. Oh yeah. Not right. even kidding, that's crazy. I literally just don't do them like Insane. that. That felt easy though. So Maddie's moved the ledge in between the boob and the takeoff. He's gonna try to do a tie ride all the way across to it. That was perfect. And he didn't go in the water. So we moved the ledge back lined up with the bank just like before because Maddie's going to do two tricks. Well, possibly two tricks. We're going to see right could now. Could be one, could be none. Could be, sure. one, could, could, be one. could be two. Could be one trick, nice. That was so smooth. Yes, that was perfect. Good job, Matt. 
That was great. I think we're gonna wrap it up, man, because it's about 100 degrees out right now. So we're hoping and praying that this ramp is going to stay here. Um, judging by the fact that somebody stomped out that thing just for fun, like it's not looking too good. I wish we brought a lock to lock it to the fence. That would have been smart, but yeah, we didn't do it. We're not too sure if we're going to load this one in the van or if we're gonna leave it here, but we'll see what happens. But we had a really good session with it. It worked out really well. And yeah, I had a lot of fun filming it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.